Thanks for joining today's snapshot for December 2nd. And we are in our second day of our Advent calendar for Dr. Martin Luther Church in these snapshots. And we are following a pattern suggested by the church I attend in Michigan, where I'm a member. And instead of having a Advent calendar on the wall where you open up a little window each day, I love those calendars, they sent a journal for us to record our gratitudes that we wanted to think of for the gifts of Advent. Well, today they suggest that we give gratitude for a friend we can rely upon. And the friend I wanna tell you about today is my seminary classmate, Steve Swanson. I've relied on him a lot for support and friendship and uh, advice. He and I are seminary classmates, as I mentioned. He's the son of a Lutheran pastor, as am I. He went to Lutheran college, as did I. And he has served a lot of long uh, interims, just as I have done. And he and I were both together doing, without knowing it, uh, at the same time, we were doing snapshots like this. And so we started to rely on each other for guidance and suggestions. And our paths were just going along uh, in a parallel manner. His wife and my wife and Swanee and I have traveled together a couple of times in the last two years. In fact, at the end of the COVID experience, we were hoping to travel together in a pilgrimage along pilgrimage sites in Europe. But suddenly in late August, he was bitten by a West Nile virus carrying mosquito and he's been in the hospital ever since. It's been three months today that he's been on his back. He is in a specialty hospital now. They moved him to a place where they could wean him from this uh, track device that helps him breathe through his tracheotomy. And uh, he's totally dependent on nursing care. Uh, last week, he dangled his feet off the side of the bed for the first time since September 2nd with, the, with assistance, somebody to help hold his head up. And he's able to talk now with his wife using a colored alphabet board and one of those electrolarynx devices that uh, stimulates sound. And he was up to last week to be able to utter tense uh, sentences in his video visit with his wife, who no longer can visit him because of COVID. So uh, I've relied on him for friendship and support, and he's relying on me for prayer. And I'm praying, you may want to join as well for Steve Swanson, that his lungs might heal. He had a totally collapsed lung last week. He's had real trouble getting his lungs working. That he might have healing of his mind, body, and spirit. And I pray also for strength for his wife and for the staff that cares for him. It's really a tough situation. Let's close with this prayer. Praise the one who breaks the darkness with a liberating light. Praise the one who frees the prisoners, turning blindness into sight. Praise the one who preached the gospel, healing every dread disease, calming storms and feeding thousands with the very bread of peace. I hope you have that peace today. God bless you.